Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I'm really excited today because I am trying out some new paints and pouring medium. This is from a site, Little Birdie. And um, they say acrylic pouring paint, but they do say for best results to mix with the pouring medium. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm using orange, white, two blues, and then the black. And I am loving the little bottles these come in. I think it's super cute. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to just get these mixed up. It doesn't have specific mixing instructions in terms of like amounts. It just says mix slowly to avoid creating bubbles until desired fluidity is achieved. So, we'll go ahead and I'm just going to put in a little bit at a time. It seems like these don't need a lot. Like they already seem fairly fluid. Let's mix up one of the blues. Okay, that one seemed a little thicker. I did shake these well also, so I'm sure that's important. But anyways, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up because this is, oh, that one seemed really fluid. This is just gonna be me mixing up a bunch of paints and then we'll, we'll try it and see what happens. Okay, so I've mixed these all up. I did about 50-50 with the uh, pouring medium and the paints, except a little bit more in the white and the light blue. And these still seem kind of thick. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Um, it is kind of unusual that the paint would be such a variance in consistencies. But let's see if we can make this work. Okay, so that's better for the white. And the light blue. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna get everything out of the way and then we'll go ahead and do the actual pour. Okay, so for today's pour, I am going to start with a tree ring because that's basically my favorite method. So if a paint does well with that method, well, then it's all right in my book. And I'll try it again for other methods. And you guys can, of course, let me know down in the comments if you have a specific method you would like to see with any paint at any time. Um, and I have definitely found that certain paints are much better with other methods than, like, with certain methods rather than others. Okay. Or my daughter just came in and interrupted. <laughs> if anybody heard the door. Uh, this whole homeschooling thing is uh, interesting. All right. So I think I got just enough paint here, it looks like. This is just a 9 by 12 canvas. For whatever reason, I really like orange and blue together. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, good. I do still have some black left, so if it seems like I didn't have enough paint, I might use some of that around the edges. But let's try and see what happens. I should have enough paint. So just in terms of like mixing the paint, I will say it was kind of difficult to get the right consistency with all the colors, um, being that they had different consistencies. But otherwise, so far, this is looking pretty awesome. And look at that, it's definitely creating cells here. That's without any, I didn't add any silicone or anything else to it. So that's interesting. So it may not be the best, best for uh, tree rings because <laughs> in tree rings you generally don't want cells and this seems to be creating some crazy cells. But that is fun, oh my goodness. Okay, 
Well, that was really unexpected. <laughs> wow. It's crazy. Okay. I'm going to let that sit for a little while and then we'll do our close up. So I'm definitely going to try a flip cup with this. This is really interesting. So for those who are having trouble creating cells and lacing and stuff, this stuff might be perfect for you. Anyways, all right, we'll be back. All right, not too much changing other than the initial explosion. Let's do our close up. So lower right hand corner, um, pretty much the orange and the dark blue took over it looks like. <laughs> A little bit of black in there, but the white totally disappeared and the light blue mostly disappeared, which is interesting. I really like the effects up here on this corner. That's weird. So I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the painting. It did some really unexpected things, but that was definitely fun. Okay, guys, well, let me know what you think. All materials will be down in the description, so check those out. And uh, definitely more experiments with this paint coming. Also, I got a bunch of mixed media stuff from them, which I'm really excited about. So also some mixed media painting coming up and a bunch of other stuff. I'll see y'all next time.